Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm an archaeologist at Office of Archaeological Studies, and today we're going to talk about transits and what archaeologists do to understand where they are in the world. Because archaeologists, when they excavate a site, don't just go with a shovel and dig stuff up. We need to know where we are so that we can recreate that site later on. The point of excavating a site is to learn about the data that we get from the site and not just to find the cool stuff. So we're going to talk about transits and we're going to talk about um, how we measure where we are. So archaeologists nowadays usually use what's called a total station. And this is a total station. It is a, um, for lack of a better word, a transit that um, provides information in three dimensions about any point that we might want to know is in the area that we're excavating. And so a total station or a transit has a bunch of different pieces that go together that um, make it possible for us to find our place in the world. The first piece of equipment that we have is a tripod. And you can see that this guy is pretty wiggly. What we do is we set this down on the ground to hold our instrument up. And on the tripod, we have three legs that are adjustable. You can take these guys and you can make them longer or shorter, depending on what you need, because the ground is not always flat and people don't come in all sizes. I am very short, so my tripod stays short, but you may have somebody who's really tall and they need to make it taller. On the tripod, we also have a little doohickey, doohickey right here that screws into the bottom of the transit. And if you look at it underneath, you can see that you've got a thread right here that screws on and underneath you've got a little hook. And that's going to hook to something that we call a plumb bob. This is a plumb bob. Plumb bobs are a really, really, really old technology. People for a long time have used plumb bobs to figure out what is vertical. And when we talk about vertical, we mean absolutely straight up and down. Now, the reason we would want to know about vertical is because we're going to be working with triangles. When you create a triangle, you have three sides. And each one of those sides, if you know two sides, you can calculate what the third side is. And that's important because transits and theodolites and even some of the instruments that we use that use satellite technology use what we call triangulation to figure out where we are in the world. So this little plumb bob, which is a really old technology, always points up and down. Not this part, but the part, the heavy part, always points down. And that's at a 90 degree angle. It's always vertical to the ground, no matter where you are. If the ground is sloping like this, the plumb bob is always pointing vertically. If the ground is sloping like this, it's always pointing vertically, and that's going to be important later on. So this plumb bob gets attached to the bottom of the transit where the little hook is and points vertically. This is going to be important because this is going to tell us where our transit is on the ground. And as you can see, the plumb bob goes up onto the hook through the little plastic handle that later on screws in to the top of the instrument. And that's how we get a very accurate location on our instrument. 